Is it different when you play a real life? I don't know if the woman you played was still alive when you did no, the film. No, she had passed away actually by the time we got to make her story, which is very sad. She never got to see that. Mm. Um, yes, of course it's different because you have a responsibility to kind of look like them and sound like them and maybe walk like them and use your hands like them. But the essential journey is exactly the same really as with a fictional character, mm. which is a, jo a journey of imagination, mm. I guess, and, and the journey of telling a story. The great thing about playing a real life character is you don't have to make up all that backstory yeah. stuff. And I, truth is always so much more interesting than fiction, isn't it? I always think, you know, when I'm, I'm in, a, in a bus, I do take the bus, <laughs> and I look at people in London, and the, in London yeah, or, or uh, not here, but in London, yeah, and, and I look at every single person in a bus queue, and I, every single one of you has a, the story of a movie in you. Mm. Every single one of you, every single person on this planet has the most amazing, incredible story um, behind them. Ah, here she is. My aunt, Adele. My uncle commissioned Gustav Klimt to paint her. That's quite a painting. It's magnificent. She was taken off the walls of our home by the Nazis. And since then, she's been hanging in the Belvedere Gallery in Vienna. And now you'd like to be reunited. Wouldn't that be lovely? Make you a rich woman, I'm sure. Do you think that's what this is about? No, I have to do what I can to keep these memories alive. Do you find it harder for women than for men in the film business? I think it's hard for young women too. And it's very interesting, Brie saying, I wasn't pretty enough to be the pretty girl and I wasn't unattractive enough to be the, the dorky girl. I'm sorry, <laughs> there's lots of other different roles for young women. Is there a male role that you wish you could have played? There's always male roles I want to play. I'm so annoyed when I watch movies and go, that could have been played by a woman and that could have been played by a woman. There's nothing to stop that being a woman. And it's driven me crazy in my career to watch wonderful actresses, wonderful, brilliant actresses, my contemporaries when I was younger, really their careers kind of diminish and disappear. And mediocre actors carry on, male actors. Just change the name is all you need to do, you know, that's all you need to do. And all this crap about, oh, I can't, you know, oh, I can't write roles for women, I just don't understand them. It's like, if you don't have to. <laughs> I always think on screen, babies and animals are my inspiration. Really? <laughs> they're free, they are, well, because they of their freedom. They are so brilliant, yeah. aren't they? It's because they are so alive and there mm. and, and not messed up in their heads the way I am, you know. <laughs> um, are you? Yes, all the time on the set. Oh, God, absolutely. You know, like, oh, well, that was terrible. And, oh, I didn't hear my mug. Are you ever afraid of acting? Yeah. Absolutely. It never stops. And don't you hope it Younger doesn't? Younger actors say, are you, you know, do, do, do you, as you get older, you've done it more, you know, does the fear go? No. It gets Sorry. worse. It gets worse. Yeah.